Hello everyone, this is Dude Tazard, and I'm doing another video. Uh, this time we'll be playing Jeopardy Sports Edition. Seeing that I am a sports, a sports junkie and a video game junkie, why not combine the two? So, I'm going to try to not answer questions very quickly, and I would like you all to play along with me. I'll be all obviously uh, commentating over the entire event, and you guys get to watch how, how much I can fail at this game. I'm putting in my real name, it's Rob, for anyone who didn't watch my other videos. Here we go. Hope you guys do better at this than I will. Remember, this is back from 93, so you, you have to think of records and stuff back from the mid-90s. So if they've been broken recently, you have to remember who was the record holder back then. Okay, these look a little challenging. I'm not going to change them, I'm just going to, you know, just go with them. And let's start with football leaders. He led the NFL Players Association as president during the 1982 strike. I have a slight clue, but I'm probably wrong. He might have been in back. He might have been the leader back then, but I could be wrong. And if I am, oh well, it's a hundred dollars. I think Upshaw was still the. Yep. Awesome. Let's try two hundred. He led his team in receiving for six years and picked up four Super Bowl titles. Hmm. Uh, I might have a guess on this one. I'll try. If I'm wrong, I am going to. I, I'm. I'm just going to be embarrassed. Because I probably should know this one. Oh, that was the right answer. All right, let's let's keep the good times going. This Packers end led the NFL in receptions eight times during the 30s and 40s. Okay, that was way before my time. I am not even going to try answering that one. If you guys have a good answer, then go for it. Okay, 400. He gained his 12,312 yards in just nine seasons. I have a pretty good guess for this one, and I think I'm right for once. <laughs> well, I have really low self-esteem on my own behalf, but oh well. I'm pretty sure he just played nine seasons. All right, seven hundred dollars. That's not bad for a start. Okay, here we go. Five hundred dollars. Big money. Big money. He has the record for most consecutive years as leader in all-purpose yards. Hmm. All-purpose yards. I have no idea. Oh, Thurman Thomas. Wow. I did not know that at all. Oh well, here we go. Name the sport for a hundred. Let's see if we can win some more money. This sport had the most on Sport Magazine's nine highest paid athletes of 90. Um, I think I have a guess. I mean, I'm just going to do the obvious answer, and if it's not right, I'm going to be sad. Okay, I'm completely and utterly wrong. Boxing. I wasn't even thinking boxing. Tell you the truth, I don't watch boxing that much. This sport is played in Budweiser's 3 on 3 challenge. Again, I have a good guess and I think I'm right, but you never know with this game. The only game that I know is played 3 on 3 is 
well, of course, basketball. All right, got that money back. Okay. $300. I never really diverge from category to category. I kind of play it like they do on TV by going each one. In 61, the sport became the first to benefit from instant replay. Was football the first to use instant replay? I'm not even going to guess. I'm right. I'm right. I knew it. But I don't give a crap. I didn't answer. Billy Mills was training for this contact sport when he discovered running. It's probably football again. But if I'm wrong, I'll lose half my money. So. Oh, it was boxing. Good thing I didn't answer that one. The St. Louis Stars and the California Clippers played this sport. I'm thinking the California Clippers are... If they are, they are who I think they are, I'm going to go ahead and answer. Why not? It's big money. i got to try. I'm going to again say basketball, because I'm thinking the Clippers are going to be uh, like the L.A. Clippers, because it said California Clippers, so I'm hoping that's I'm on the right train of thought there. No, I'm not. Not at all. That's soccer. Hmm. I didn't know that. Okay, let's try ballpark. This baseball field's infield dirt sold for $75 a vial at a Chicago charity auction. Hmm. Comiskey Park. I did not know that. I'm can't remember what park that is. I think that might be the Chicago White Sox. But this Major League Baseball team is at home in Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. I honestly have no clue. I'm not good with Major League ballparks. The Orioles. I'm trying to think. Okay, the Washington Nationals would be the Expos back then. But I don't think they played back. This park is home to the Giants and the 49ers. Oh, crap. What's that stadium's name? Uh, San Francisco. What's that stadium's name? I'm going to hate myself. Candles oh, Candlestick. I did not know that, actually. Oh, well. Let's move on. 400. Baseball's first triple-decker stadium. Triple-deck stadium. I'm trying to think. Triple-deck. Three-deck stadium. I have no clue. Yankee Stadium, I was thinking that, but I didn't I thought that I only had two decks the old stadium.